Hey, Timur Sol here. This is a slightly different video. We're going to talk about hotkeys today. Now, you probably noticed me using hotkeys a lot. Uh, I refrain from making this videos, uh, video um, because I believe that you actually should make your own hotkeys when you feel that you need a hotkey for that specific thing that you're doing. Now, um, this video was requested uh, so uh, it feels like or it seems like um, setting up your own hotkeys is somewhat problematic so let's just um, make that a little bit easier by going into your settings and into hotkeys now there's a amazing amount of hotkeys that you can set up over here let's uh, set up a new profile uh, example profile I'm just gonna make a new profile over here so everything is roughly the way it is from beginning on now I have a separate few um, profiles it, which you could use um, to make um, you know, to make your work easier for different types and specific types of maps if you need that um, the first thing that you have is the general general uh, options so copy paste select all and so on so on and so on basically and this is something that you uh, are probably um, accustomed with while simply using uh, your own computer by a daily basis now you can open uh, modules by uh, separate hotkeys you can have your music assigned playing music stopping music now we're not talking about music in these tips series as i am focused on mapping but you will see a whole lot of different things over here that you might use in your in-person VTT games. So ambiences, F SFX, uh, soundscapes, texts, and so on and so on. There's a, there's a, um, a separate thing for text, uh, which is maybe interesting for some map, ma map makers that um, they have notes while they are making their maps. But what is most interesting for us is the cartographer. Well, for me, example, especially. You have um, the general uh, settings, uh, the scrolling, the rotating of the map, things that are specific for these maps. Um, you have uh, you have the cartographer panels. Now the cartographer panels are over here. So if uh, I would go back to um, to my cartographer uh, panels, you would see that I have uh, over here. I have the back quote. Um, as my setting now what allow this allows me to do if i would minimize this if i use my back quote it just pops up with the cartographer content section um let's go back again and back to our panels now i don't actually use the rest of these as i don't have a need for them if you do uh well you should uh, you should assign them for yourself um i'm also not using these as i have uh, these actually more connected with the with the cartographer content selection so i usually just use the block quote mm, and the grid settings are also not something that i use on a daily basis the placement although uh you might not have noticed noticed it uh, I do uh, use F8, F6, F7 uh, for different types of lines. Now these are the most typical lines that I use. Uh, when you set up your background you usually have one setting and you don't need it much more but when you're working with lines, with walls, with stuff like that you will go back and forth um, while building, while building uh, those assets. I'm also using a lot of layering uh, during my work and you could see it while I were was doing the uh, quick build. Um, there's a lot of things that you have to move, uh, move up, down, down to the bottom, up to the top and down one, stuff like that. So uh, I have these set up from F9 to F12. Uh, these, are my, uh, these are my basic, uh, basic tools and the lighting uh, i just have the light toggle on and off um, i don't have light on or light off uh, separately i just want to have the light toggle to see if it looks uh, if it looks okay shadowing um, since i'm having my left hand usually left hand i'm right-handed so i'm uh, using my left hand for the hotkeys i'm roughly having my hand 
in the general uh, vicinity of the F keys around here. So I'm having my shadow, toggle drop shadow and equals uh, because it's simply relatively uh, close to the F keys. And the most important things for me is the image manipulations over here, which is F1, F2, F3, and F4. Now you may have noticed that I very often evoke these keys um, all at once, basically, even if I don't need all, all at once. Um, that's basically because uh, I usually like to fiddle with assets. Uh, a few points here, a few points there, it does make a difference for me when I look at the whole map um, from the top. Now I also have the manipulation of edit line points uh, enabled over here. This is the hotkey that allows me to uh, make lines longer, make curvy walls and so on and so on. You also might have noticed that when I build uh, buildings or things like that, I usually tend to use uh, a straight line. Uh, so for doing that, um, you know, for doing that, I have my F5 key, and this is basically all the F keys uh, are now um, are now occupied by something I don't have a manipulation line with, because usually when you have one line with, you stick with it because you don't have um, walls that are thicker and and smaller uh, when when it comes to that. There's also fog of war locking. I do have um, toggle locked or unlocked with the backslash. Um, this is also again relatively close to the equals or to the F keys. Um, so that's that. Um, as you see, there's a lot of options over here. There's one additional option that you could have uh, not noticed for some reason. Um, you can also have a hotkey to a specific asset so if I would be using I have a map for example uh, in which I use the arcane wall uh, a lot so instead of um, hand picking it or searching for it all all time along I could have a, have a hotkey for it and um, and this could be any combination and if I would just use this hotkey it would just uh, give me the asset to the hand tool each and every time, which is a very convenient thing if you have a map for, in which you have a lot of light sources of some type or, um, or I don't know, trees or anything other that is very, very common and you just don't want to go back and forth to your content.